Uh, my name is Adam and I'm from Donegal. So I first realised that I was different when I was in my teens and I wasn't quite sure how I was different but I know that um, the LGBT community was something that I could identify with. There was no community in Donegal when I was younger. I was lucky um, in that I did know one or two people later in my teens um, who were in the same position as me or in a similar, similar position to me. Um, but there was no LGBT community at all to speak of. Um, it would have been, even if there was a community, getting to it from where I lived, because I, I live very remote in a very remote part, it would have been difficult anyway. Um, and there was nothing there. There was no resources, nothing available, nothing in schools or anything like that. And it took me a little bit of time and a little bit of courage but I uh, made the decision to contact the helpline to try and reach out to see um, if I could get some resources to just to talk to somebody else who might understand the position I was in. So trying to make a phone call for me wasn't easy because I lived with my parents um, in, and our phone was out in a very public area. Um, so it was difficult for me to get space and I had an opportunity one evening to make the phone call. And it was one of those moments where I was going, I don't know when I'm going to get this opportunity again. And there was a huge thunderstorm and I managed to get the opportunity to go into a phone booth and phone the helpline from there with the thunderstorm in the background. So it was all very dramatic. And that kind of added an exhilaration to it. Um, but it was definitely, it was an exhilarating feeling to finally speak to someone, but it was also very, very scary when you're waiting for the phone to ring and wondering who you're going to speak to when they pick up and then you speak to somebody who is just another person who wants to listen to you and help you and wants to be there for you and they don't even know you and that's just such a nice feeling. Initially I had wrong with the idea of asking them where I could get a copy of GCN, the Gay Community News, um, because I just wanted I suppose an excuse or a reason to ring. Um, so I rang and I asked them and they gave me the name of several different outlets in Dublin because I was going to be in Dublin um, with my parents and I could reasonably expect to slip away for a few minutes and pick one up. And um, they gave me that information and then I asked them a little bit more about it was, it was coming up to time for me to start picking universities. And I asked them a little bit more about like where I could find information on universities and um, other resources in Dublin for kind of, I suppose, just to, to know that there was a future out there, that there was somewhere that I could look forward to going. Um, but ultimately, really what ended up happening was we ended up having a chat and the person just kind of encouraged me to talk for a little while and I just felt less lonely because, as I say, I very much rang thinking I don't really know why I'm ringing. I, well, the reason I was ringing was very much I wanted a connection, but I didn't feel like I could ring with just that. I felt like I had to have a reason, but you don't have to have a reason beyond wanting a connection. That's exactly what a helpline is there for. Um, so, you know, and the person was really good at encouraging me just to chat and to kind of like let my guard down a little bit and relax and know that I could have that conversation and just feel like, you know, not only was there something that I could look forward to, but there was also people there right now if I did need them. Um, and it, you know, there was a way I could contact people. If someone is thinking of calling the helpline, what I would say to them is do it when you feel like you are safe to do so. Take that moment, give yourself that chance, call the helpline and talk to them. If you need to have a reason, think of something like, where do I get GCN? But honestly, you can just ring the helpline and say, hi, I'd just like to talk. I'd just like someone to talk to about how I feel right now. And you know, ringing the helpline, it doesn't mean that you are LGBT+. It doesn't mean that you have to pick a label and put it on yourself. It just means you get to talk to somebody else who has at some point or another been where you are. And that's just really reassuring. If you need support, we're here to listen in confidence and without judgment. Call the National LGBT Helpline on 1800 929 539, sponsored by SSE Airtricity.